Hey guys, Fazello here. So, the Razer phone came out in November of 2017, and it came with the best sounding speakers on any smartphone to date, and it had one of the best feeling screens ever made for a smartphone. It had a 120 hertz display, and you probably know what the Razer phone is if you're watching this video, but if you don't, it had a great display, great sounding speakers, and overall, it was a great phone for gamers, and Razer is a gaming company, so it makes sense that their phone is marketed towards gamers. But the Razer Phone 2, that's what I want to talk about in this video. This is something that hasn't really been discussed too much, and I feel like I should shed some light on this topic. Now, you do have to keep in mind that we don't have too many rumors or leaks to work with, so it's basically just speculation at this point. But anyways, let's just get into this. So I think that the Razer Phone 2 is going to have a pretty similar design to the Razer Phone 1. And the reason for that is because Razer made this smartphone because they purchased, I can't remember what the name of the company is, but they purchased a smartphone company that makes Android phones, and they designed the Razer Phone off of what that company did. We got that nice, blocky feeling Razer Phone. So, I don't think Razer is going to change too much about the design, but... I have a feeling that they're going to change the screen, and the reason for that is because the market has been pushing towards bezel-less screens. I'm sure everyone has taken interest in that, so I have a feeling Razer is going to try and, like, add that into their new phone. I don't know if that's going to be, like, something they're going to do, because if they do that, they're going to have to sacrifice the speakers a bit, but still, I think that Razer would probably go in that direction, but if they don't, or in general, they're probably going to stay on what their same design as they have right now. The next thing I want to talk about is specs. So the Razer phone was pretty topped out. It came with great like top-notch specs. It had a great screen and a great speaker. I've already talked about most of this, but I think that the Razer phone 2 is going to be more of a heavy upgrade because the I don't exactly remember what the CPU the Razer phone 1 had, but I have a feeling that Razer is going to want to step it up a bit because Smartphones have been evolving a lot in 2018. We've seen rumors that like phones are going to have incredibly powerful specs, and the Galaxy S9 is an incredibly powerful phone. So I think that Razer is going to try and add more to their phone, because you have to remember that the Razer phone lines are supposed to be just gaming-oriented phones. So obviously they're going to have great specs, because... You have to have good specs to run games at a good frame rate and a good resolution. Speaking of resolution, let's talk about the screen's resolution. So, I think that Razer is going to try and up the screen resolution, preferably to somewhere around the 2K mark, around there, because a lot of people have been pushing smartphone resolutions, and I think that a lot of people just want a better screen, even if it comes at the cost of the battery or the specs. People just want a better or sharper looking screen, and that makes sense. So I think that Razer's going to try and commemorate for that. I don't think they're going to try and completely change it, like even an 8K display or something. I think it's probably going to be more of a minimalistic upgrade, but there's still going to be a bit of an upgrade, in my opinion. Something else I actually forgot to add was that the Razer Phone 1 did not have an OLED screen. It was still a good screen, but it wasn't OLED, and a lot of people didn't like that. So... A lot of people have been saying, Razer, if you're going to make another smartphone, add an OLED panel. So, I think that Razer is going to listen, and they're going to add an OLED panel this time. I don't know too much about it, that's just a guess, but it's considering that Razer wants to provide as much options as possible, because, you know, that's what their main demographic wants, then that's probably what they're going to go for. Now we get to the fun part, release date. So... The release date is actually something that has a big chunk of evidence behind it, and the, that big piece of evidence is that in 2018, at CES 2018, Razer showed off their concept for a new laptop called the Razer Project Linda. Now, Project Linda is, if you don't know what it is, we don't know the price or the release date of it, or even the name, we just know it's Project Linda, and you connect the Razer phone to it by putting it, I'll have like a little pictures and videos of it, you put it in this dock area, and it charges the phone, but the phone also powers the laptop. And you can also use a laptop as, you know, a full-fledged keyboard, and, a, you know, it's got a screen. Now, we don't know too much about the extra specs it's going to have, if it's going to, like, bump out the battery, the resolution. We don't really know what this is going to have at the end. But 
a lot of people have been saying it would make sense for for Razer to release the Razer Phone 2 and Project Linda at the exact same time. So I'm going to say around October, September is when we're going to see Project Linda hit. And the reason for that is because that's when the original that's around the time when the original Razer Phone hit. And that's also when supposedly a lot of the big flagships are going to be dropping. And by big flagships, I mean hopefully the Pixel 3, 3XL and the iPhone 10s or whatever we're going to see for this generation's iPhone. Now, last thing I want to touch up on is price. Now, the Razer Phone 1 launched at 700 US dollars, which wasn't really that bad. The only problem with it, in my opinion, was that it was more expensive than it probably should have been. And the reason for that was because the Razer Phone 1 had specs that probably could have been done at 600, maybe even 550. And the, the Razer could have even dropped it lower than that. I'm not a hardware engineer, so I don't know too much about the price, but still, I think that Razer could have dropped the price a bit. And I think that the Razer Phone 2 is going to have be a bit cheaper. Now, adding on to that, something that I feel like Razer might add, because again, their main demographic wants more options, is a Razer Phone 2 Plus. And if you don't know what I mean by that, is that you know how like the Google Pixel, have, there's like the XL model and the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus. There's like these models of phones, S9 Plus, phones that are basically the superior version to the base model. And I feel like Razer is going to make one of those with just better specs and slightly bigger screen and better batteries because, again, their demographic wants more options. So it would just make sense for Razer to add that. But I feel like if they would make that, they would probably up the price maybe to 700 750 But still, I have no idea what they're going to add. I would love to see those in Razer's new phones, but still, I cannot predict the future. So... I have no idea what they're going to add. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Those are just my thoughts on the Razer Phone 2. If you have your own thoughts, please leave them in the comments, and I'll try to reply back to you. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video again, and see you.